Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how to use automatic code generation with NIDAC MX and LabVIEW. You can see I've got two VIs here that look pretty similar, and I'm actually connected over USB to a multifunction USB data acquisition device. I have a function generator here where I can send a sine wave into analog input channel 0, and I can take measurements and view them on a graph in LabVIEW. So I can hit run on this first VI, and you can see as I reach over and change the, the speed of my sine wave, I can I can see that up here. And in fact, if I stop that and then start the next VI, you can see I get the exact same functionality. Well, if I show you the block diagram or the code behind both of these VIs, you can see they're actually using two completely different approaches. The one on the left is using the DAC assistant. So this is a configuration-based approach, which uses a, an interactive wizard to take you through and configure your measurement task step by step. And then I can send the output over to a graph, just like we saw. Whereas on the one on the right, I'm actually using DACMX functions, um, also known as the API or application programming interface. Basically, these are the building blocks that help to step by step configure the VIs programmatically. And in this case, I get a little bit more flexibility. If I wanted to add more customization for timing and triggering or synchronization, um, I have that available to me on the right. Well, often you might start off with the configuration based approach, which is good for the majority of data acquisition applications, but then realize that you need a little bit more flexibility. And so you might want some way to then transition over to this programmatic approach. Well, for that situation, we actually can use automatic code generation in DACMX. And if I increase the size of my block diagram here, I'm going to hold the control key and just drag the DAC assistant down. And now when I right click, I can actually convert, I can generate NI DACMX code. So if I select that function, what happens is the DAC assistant goes in and looks at all the configuration parameters that we had put in previously and scripts out DACMX code using the different functions. You can see now I've got a block diagram on the bottom, this loop that looks very similar to the, the approach that I took on the right. And in fact, if I rewire some of these controls here, I'm going to delete the automatically generated stop button and graphs, and I'm just going to wire those up in my loop on the bottom, move my data over. So now I'm programmatically using Dataflow, wiring my data from the function over to the graph. Then I'm just going to delete this top loop here. I'm done with this previous approach. And now you can see I have code that looks pretty similar to the one on the right-hand side. And in fact, I can hit Run. And once again, I'm acquiring data. I can speed up my sine wave. And now if I want to customize further, I have that capability. And I can continue programming and meet the exact needs for my data acquisition application.